But he says after that, he says, Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. And you know, so we have three titles that Jesus is saying, look, these titles are reserved for God. He says one of them is rabbi. Because apparently from reading this, rabbi seems to be the Jewish word for master, is the way it sounds. And then uh, father. He says, no, that's God the Father. That's Jesus Christ. It's called the Everlasting Father in Isaiah 9, 6. And then he says, another one is Master. Don't call yourself Master. And then uh, Father. He says, no, that's God the Father. That's Jesus Christ. It's called the Everlasting Father in Isaiah 9, 6. And then uh, Father. He says, no, that's God the Father. That's Jesus Christ. It's called the Everlasting Father in Isaiah 9, 6. You say, well, Jesus, the Bible says, went down in a hell for three days and three nights, how could he tell the thief on the cross that today you're going to be with me in paradise? Because when the thief on the cross died, he went to heaven. Who lives in heaven? God. Who is Jesus? God. God is in more than one spot. He's omnipresent. Yes. Even though he was in hell, the Bible says Jesus, he was up in heaven. Because he said about the Holy Spirit, he said, when I go in John 14, 15, and 16, I will send the comforter. He will come unto you. Later on, almost like he's using it like synonymously, he said that the Spirit will come and I will come into you. Why? Because he is the Spirit. He is the Father. The Father is the Son. It's that the, these three are one. Yes, they're all separate, but they're all one. Look at verse 14. And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. The name of God is I am that I am. And he said, Moses, when you go to Israel, and when you go to Egypt, and when the Israelites, when they ask you uh, who sent you, when they ask you what is the name of the God that sent you, just tell them, I am sent me. You, you may ask, I, I am what? It's not I am what, it's just I am. That, that, that statement, I am, is a present It's not I was. It's not I'm going to be. God, God isn't, you know, I... In the, in the past, he's not in the future, he just is. That, that statement I am means the self-existing one. That statement I am, that's why Jesus says in the book of Revelation, I am the Alpha and the Omega. That's why he says I am the beginning and the end. That's why he says I am the first and the last. That's why he says I am the root and the offspring of David. That's why he said I am the son and the father. That's, he said I am, he's just, I, I just exist. He says, see, because they just asked Jesus, they said, you're not even 50 years old. He says, before Abraham was born, I was already in existence. Before Abraham was born, I was already, I was never created. I will never die. I, I will never be uncreated. He said, I just am. And Moses, if they want to know who is the God that sent you, don't tell them it was a God that was created by a human being. Don't tell them it was a God that was created uh, by it, it, using a rock or using a, a, a wood or using a metal. He said, just tell them the God that just exists, the self-existing God. And when Jesus made this statement before Abraham was, I am, the Jews understood what he was saying. And it angered them so much that Jesus would say, I am.